What's happening everybody? We are back. All right, so I got something a little different today. Uh, this guy emailed me, he saw one of the YouTube videos where we uh, retuned and flex, no we didn't flex show, but we retuned a um, supercharged car. So he's got this Evo, 2020 Evo, bamboozled me. I looked at the brakes and I, by looking at the brakes, I assumed it was all wheel drive. I go to disconnect the drive shaft and it's real wheel drive. Uh, beautiful car, it's a cement color, factory of paints, got a full carbon kit on it. I don't know who made this kit, but it's really, really nice. It looks like 1016, is that 1016? Yeah, it is 1016. 1016 uh, normal leaf hood, front lip, fenders, the whole nine. Beautiful car. So we're actually gonna put Motec in it. We're gonna put Motec, we're gonna do flex fuel. Uh, one of these things, one of the things that I notice with these cars, and I'm gonna show it on the dyno, they heat soak very easily. So we're gonna upgrade the water system, the air to water system, put a four gallon water tank in the front, dash 12 lines, our heat exchanger in the front, make it a little bit more efficient, and then E85, which runs cooler. So we're gonna baseline it, see what it makes, and then the remote tech in it. So it's probably, everybody likes titles, the world's first Motec supercharged car. <laughs> So I started the car cold, super cold, one gear, made 698, 700. After literally normal driving and one more hit, it lost 35, 40 horsepower, one gear. So now imagine if you're ripping on the street on a road course and first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, you know, off the auto, off the auto, downshift, downshift, continue, right? Normal world conditions, how much it'll lose. Heat soak, it's 75 degrees in here. It's not that cold, it's not that hot, perfect. Perfect weather, uh, and it lost 35 horsepower. So if I drove this car on the dyno, similar to how the owner would drive it in you know, on, a, on a closed course, it would drop a lot more power. It just keeps dropping power. It's heat soaking, so yeah. So what we're gonna do is now that we, we got the baseline and see what the heat soak did, I'm actually gonna do something uh, that we do to our cars. The whole, we're gonna, the thing has heat exchangers in the back and small water pump, small water line. I'm gonna put our water system that we put in the turbo cars in here um, to kind of give it more water volume to not, you know, allow the heat soak to happen so quick. We're gonna do ethanol, which is a cooler fuel. We're gonna do Motec, which is just a cooler thing to do. Let's see what we can gain out of it. I guess I'll probably be able to gain 80, 60 to 80 horsepower. So, let's get to work. Felix remoted in and began to tune it, but he's having some fuel pressure issues, which you guys know all about fuel pressure issues with us. Not fun, right? It sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's a waste of time. Yeah, it happens, it happens. You're good though, dude. It's an, it's an easy fix. That's that's the cool thing. The, the, you know, the cool thing is mechanically the car's working fine. Everything's fine. So. Fuel pressure. Uh, Alexi, that's un power way hasta que llegue a David. Lo quitas? Lo quitas? First time I've seen the GTR on there. You guys know Isaac? I don't know, have you ever been in a vlog? No. No, so Isaac owns that beautiful green STO we built last year, the Grinch. Uh, he's also got a VF Engineering Supercharged uh, STO, beautiful car. He's got a Porsche GT3, right? 
got all kinds of cars. So he bought this RA GT a couple months ago, and of course he can't leave anything in stock. So we did an SR1000 package on it, perfectly balanced car, uh, nice metallic red intercoolers. Um, we also did a custom set of rims on it. They were supposed to be here today, they won't be here until tomorrow, so he's gonna take the car and we'll ship them the rims, and hopefully he can snap some pictures for us to post. But uh, let's go for a drive, he's about to drive it home. Good? Yep. Happy? GP build number two, super stoked. Yeah. Uh, couldn't be happier. Cool. So we're gonna go drive it around, make sure he's good, and yep, go from there. Excited for this. Ring ding 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 ding. Nah, <laughs> this thing's loud. Is that as good as sound for? This thing's loud. I'm fucking sad over there. This shit throws a fucking rod. Make sure we block. There's no cars in the way, right? All right, good. Throws a rod and hits a car. <laughs> so this is Alexi's personal car. You guys have seen in the vlog. It's an all motor car. That means there's no turbo. Mix it with nitro. 50% nitro. And he can tell you the rest, that's all I know. Hey, fool, why don't we put more seconds in this bitch? Let me fuck it. Cause it's too expensive. M1 the world, my boy. It's expensive. Jump on it. There's half a piece out there. <laughs> <laughs> I just spent about the same fucking redoing the whole car. It's a 2008 Civic Si. Uh, it's a K24, still 99 stroke, 88 millimeter bore. It's got aluminum rods. It's got um, various pistons, 37 millimeter valves, drag cartel killer cams, 72 millimeter ITVs, Myers header, uh, and the first second dog box. That's it, basic, all off the shelf shit. So it should make probably like 480, 500. Why not? Yeah, you. So project churches, Civic. it'll probably be over 500. Church is fucking mad at that. Yeah, so that's why with this one, it made like 430, 440. How quick should it go when you put them on? Low nine, it's fine. It better go low nine. Eight with a PPG. With a full PPG. Think it'll go eight? Yeah, a little bit more nitro. <laughs> what stops you from putting more nitro in it? The transmission. Understood. Really. So the engine wise though, it's. Yeah, because the fuel pump and. How much power could it make if we did full nitro? Like five, five well, change, that bro. depends what the motor will be able to handle. Yeah, now what? Well, I gotta go replace the windshield then. I'm gonna go racing. You gonna go racing? Tomorrow, yeah. Ring a ding ding time. Shit, go like six twos and a, and a eight. That's quick, that's fun. 
Anyways, we got David over here finishing up Vader's car. Vader from Vaderbilt. Uh, actually, Vader built some pretty badass Subarus. Fast motherfuckers. Alonzo, for sure, drop a video in. I'll send you the link. This is a video of him driving like the, one of the Subarus and broke like the world record for stock engine. Look at this shit. It's just all over the place. <laughs> Text him right after that Friday night. I said I would never ride in the car with you. Motherfucker drive. This is his Huracan. It originally came in for like a 1200. I think it was like a thousand package and somehow ended up at least 1500. With 17 inch Bellic uh, T1 race rim package. So I got David finishing it up right now. Gonna load the base map in it. The next what? How long do you need? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. An hour. Okay. 30 minutes or an hour? Which one, buddy? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you two today, huh? <laughs> this fucking overcast is getting to you guys' head, buddy. All right, well, I guess the, hopefully you guys like the Civic. Um, did you show the horsepower? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, all right, it's a little 400 horsepower car, so uh, I'll be taking it to Verona this weekend. So if you guys are out there, come out here. And then uh, we left off um, doing the water system on the Evo. So hopefully next week is on the dyno. And then uh, hopefully next vlog I'll show you guys in car of the car also. So yeah, Alex left too, so I gotta do his goddamn job. He was yelling all day, and now I gotta close this out. So peace.